as with all aspects of fishing, feeder fishing especially, hitting your clip and making the most, taking advantage of your clip on the reel is so important. There's a few major advantages which I'm gonna run through of just using one clip and how to get the most out of it. And especially when you're on these kind of waters where I am today, I'm fishing a feeder against that far bank. I wanna do a few things with that clip. First of all, I wanna I want ensure I've got a safety blanket. I've got some extra meters of line on top of the clip. Once I've actually settled, my feeders hit the surface, I've sunk the line, I've sat on my box, I've tightened the line up, I'm ready to fish. I want to ensure on my reel I've got a few meters of extra line, backup line on top of that clip. So if I do hook a big fish, I'm not worried about having to take my clip off and then I lose touch with the distance that I'm fishing and where exactly my bait's getting built up. Also, the advantage of actually holding your clip and holding that, hitting the clip and holding your rod in a specific angle ensures that you're actually using the quiver tip of the rod to land the feeder on the surface. Of course, when we're talking about a method feeder, this, it's open to the elements. If you don't hit that feeder on the surface correctly, there's a chance that a lot of that bait can come off on the surface and defeat the whole object of what we are actually trying to achieve, which is ensuring that feeder is like that when it hits the bottom, intact, ready for a fish to come in and suck all that bait up. So by actually using your quiver tip, massively cushions how that feeder lands on the surface and it creates a bit of finesse to the cast. So I'm gonna run through the process of what I do. Now the key to it is, like a lot of people think, they cast out and they hold the rod and they wait for the line to tighten up. Like what I said, if you bring your rod back, then you're actually using the quiver tip of the rod to hit the, hit the clip. Therefore, you're cushioning the fall, but also, like what I've said, because my rod is back, and by the time I've tightened that line up, ready to fish, I've got a few more meters on top of that spool, and that's so important on these big carp venues. So I'm gonna run through the process now. Now, of course, going through the motions of the cast, looking at my marker, checking everything's intact, rod comes back, Cast out, bring Rob back. You can see where I've actually hit the clip. So I've actually held the rod back. Now the interesting thing is like what I've already said, close the bail arm, just reel forward, just to take in that slack line. Because, because my rod has been back, I've taken up so much slack line. Then sink the line, just not, pulling on the line, just holding the line, so I'm touch ledgering, so if I get a bite now, I'll feel the line tighten up in the fingertips. Waiting for that line to sink. It's nearly sunk. There we go, that's sunk. So now I then get in the position of fishing. I put the rod down, and I gradually tighten up to that quiver tip. Now this is the massive advantage of what position you hold that rod. So now I'm ready to fish, already. Now let's say I hook a big carp. If I hook a big carp now, from this point of fishing, look how much line I've got on top of that clip. There, I hit the clip there. So I've got seven, eight, nine turns on top of that clip as a cushion, as a safety blanket. And that's massive, especially on these kind of waters where you could be catching all sizes of carp and including some big fish as well. So next time you're out, practice at what angle you hit your clip. And it also allows you to exercise different distances simply by at what angle you actually hit that clip. If you hit your clip further back, you're fishing a little bit shorter but at the distance you want to fish, if you're accurate holding it at that distance, every, at that angle every time. But if you want to exercise beyond the main area of where your feed is going, it's just a simple case of actually holding your rod a bit further forward. And then again, and then again. So you're exercising different areas of your peg with one clip alone. So next time you're out, give that a go because it'll massively increase how many bites you catch and also those clever fish that are hanging back off your feed It'll also give you that great opportunity of catching those wise fish in your swim.